It's Saturday morning. It's very overcast and it's about 45 degrees. I can't wait for a good day. We got to get some stuff done. Let's go in the garden. Last night somebody left the, the garden door open and the chickens had a good time in here. You can see this and over here they dug up. It's not so bad but they definitely came in and had a little party. You remember that rat I was telling you about that's living underneath that white bucket right there? We're gonna take it off and see if it comes running out. If you're squeamish to the sight of rodents, brace yourself. Nobody's home. Check out that nice tunnel they got going on there. That was about to be a really nice home. I found another place that I think they're burrowing. Look over here behind the rose bush. Here's the rose bush. We're in the corner. Look back there. Yep, I think that's another rat home. That means they're living underneath these railroad ties. You can even see here where this one's been hollowed out. And this soil's been mounded up here. That means they're digging out. The cats will be released soon, so hopefully that helps some. Many of you recommend small, um, not all of them are small, but rat chasing, rat hunting dogs, which I looked up some of the breeds and I'm kind of tempted, but I have seven dogs. I just don't need and what do you do with a rat dog they they have to live as part of the family right you don't you don't just let them live out on the farm running around like a working dog do you I just don't think I could have a dog especially one that's not very big out running around and not be allowed to come in the house and be a part of the family if I got a dog for the purpose of hunting rats then it would have to be out where the rats are it can't be a house dog I'm just not sure how I would manage that right now. Right now my challenge isn't getting a dog or, or helping the cats manage things. I need to find a way to start my seeds and grow my garden without the rats eating all the seedlings. One of the answers is going to be finding out how to button down the hatches in the greenhouse, hopefully to make that a productive space. But for now, since I don't think I could manage that before I need to get my seeds started, let me show you something else. You see this? That was built as a tortoise enclosure. We got baby tortoises and we built this to give them space. It was like a tortoise table, they call it. And we put a heater and all this stuff in there to help those tortoises have a good time. Well, it turns out that those tortoises didn't make it the baby ones they didn't live so now i have this structure and i think i'm going to try to use it as a cold frame a secure warm place to start my seedlings The construction of the box is just two before stacked up. It's like almost like a raised bed garden. But I had these plexiglass sheets and I was able to make a bottom. I was able to make a bottom and lids out of this plexiglass. I think that'll work fine for a cold frame. This is eight feet long and two feet wide. And it's these are regular two by fours, so that means it's three and a half, seven, ten and a half inches deep. I'm going to clean a spot in the garden right here where these grape plants and the pomegranate plants are. Hopefully that will be a nice place, something close that I'll be able to manage easily and uh, it will get plenty of sun and be protected. Well, we'll just see if that's a nice place. I'm really hoping that all of my grape plants made it through the winter. They're not looking too good right now.
We got a hawk sitting over here. I want to see if we can get a look at it. There's a couple of them. I can see them sitting in the tree. She's kind of checking things out. They don't usually bother the big chickens and the, the little ducks and the little chickens are put away right now. So I'm not too worried about losing a chicken or a duck right at this moment, but it's just kind of exciting and scary at the same time when they're perched. You know they're looking for something and they're making those noises. They're talking to each other. It's just really cool to see how it all happens. I mean, nature's amazing, isn't it? I turn my back for just a minute and the chickens want to come in the garden. No party today. Go. No party. I'm going to try to level this plexiglass up on the ground. And the reason I'm using the plexiglass on the ground is to create a barrier on the bottom uh, so that rats can't dig under and get in. And also, I'm not putting it on that stand that I built for the tortoises because I don't want it to be elevated and then it will be harder to keep warm. The ground actually is going to insulate and provide some warmth to the box. going to be a little bit tight to walk around it especially when things start growing but uh, it won't need to sit here all through the summer it's really only going to need to be there for the springtime when I'm starting seedlings now we'll slide these lids back off and put some trays in there to see how they fit oh they almost fit sideways oh well I probably don't need that many anyway I think I can probably get four in long ways. While I was in the greenhouse looking for trays, this one was stacked up under. I had forgotten actually that I, I saved some seeds. I didn't do a very good job of taking care of the seeds, but it looks like these sugar snap peas, I think those will be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. I'm gonna take them out of these seed pods and I'm gonna plant them right now just to see if anything happens. These sugar snap peas are really delicious. They're a garden snack. They, I don't think any of them have ever made it into the house. We just eat them raw right off the plants and the kids look forward to it every spring. I don't think all of them will probably germinate, but I'm hoping a few of them do. Sugar snap peas love to climb, so I'm gonna plant them on the trellises that I have here in the garden, like this one here. Some of these, the hoop trellises, and even some of those over in Luke's garden. They don't have to be planted deep, so I'm just going to drop them about every four or five inches or so down this row. Right up under this trellis. And then just barely push the composted mulch right over the top of them. So next time, hopefully you'll see that I'm planting tomato seeds and pepper seeds and things that I need to start uh, in a more warm environment in this box we'll see how that works this year i've never used a cold frame box but lots of people do with great success so we'll see how that works here i've talked about growing things in other gardens i've talked about building more gardens and one of the challenges on our farm is that uh, in order to do that we would have to invest a lot of time into you know amending the soil doing the layers and whatever to build those gardens up and the challenge was put to me that why don't we make the garden we have more efficient and grow more more productive before we start building more gardens and I think that's a wonderful idea I have a very smart wife that's my goal for this season is to make this garden as productive as possible I do hope and I do plan to build more gardens but I can't just build gardens and not learn how to be more efficient in the one that I have so this cold frame hopefully is going to be a good use of materials that I already have. Helping me with a space to grow seedlings so I don't have to start an indoor 
growing station, which someday I hope to do, but I don't have that space yet. And also, I need to work on the greenhouse a little more to make it more secure, provide a space in there that would be more protected. I have some ideas, I just need to get that done. I would love to hear your stories of using cold frames. Have you used them? Do you have a parent or a grandparent that has used them? How did they do it and what type of success did they have? What did they grow in them and how did it work out well for them? I would love to hear your stories in the comments below. Thank you again for joining me on the Daddy Curbs farm. I'll talk to you soon. And that's a wrap.